my brother and friend Francis Nganga and your children wale wote ambao wamefika hapa leo kwa sababu ya kifo cha marehemu Ruluse marafiki wale wote wamefika God is good all the time and all the time God is good ni salimieni kwa haya bwana Yesu asifiwe Bwana Yesu asifiwe tena. Adwa nyumba ito muri oku. Ito oku. Nomo yomere ire. O nani de yometi wa kaitu wa kairetu. Ah. Uh, <coughs> we have come here as friends of this great family of Francis Nganga. This is a family that we have known for the last 30 years. And Francis and Lucy are a wonderful couple and a wonderful family. <clears throat> They have many friends among ourselves because it's a family that has been very loving to many people. Uyu nganga ni mfanyibiashara wa kipekee. Kwa sababu wafanyibiashara wengi wale wanauza magari. 90% of them iko shida kidogo. Lakini huyu nganga ukiagana na yeye akuletee gari kutoka Japan ile mwaka mumeagana ile sisi mumeagana itakuwa namna hiyo. And people here can bear testimony. So Francis we want to condo with you and your children we know how heavy it is to lose your wife and the mother of your children who has been a pillar of your family. It is not easy and we cannot pretend to feel what you feel sisi tu tunakuombea Mungu ukiwa na watoto Mungu awapatie nguvu ya kukubali yale ambayo yametokea and as we bury Lucy we want to call on our authorities of regulation of medical facilities to protect the people of Kenya from being driven into the wrong direction because Kenyans are simple people and are gullible and when you market your establishments in a nice way because they are very trusting more often than not they are likely to believe you and then you end up in a facility that is not licensed that is not professional and then we end up with the station we are in today Again let me call upon our people to always be careful where you seek help when you need help in matters medical. I know we have many challenges as a country in terms of our health systems but we want to appeal to our medical practitioners to be professional and to be of help to the people of Kenya. When people seek medical attention they do so because they are in need and it is very sad when we take advantage of people who are seeking help and don't take them in the right direction so nganga amefanya kazi wakiwa na lusi mingi sana ya kanisa and as a kidiko here amesema katika kabete na kila pahali mimi mwenyewe alinipatia bus akaniambia nipatie kanisa ile ninapenda and i donated it to mehote parish i've seen uh, reverend ken here na watu ya mehote nganga and your late wife and the family the work you have done for god is not in vain i want to encourage you my brother be strong take good care of these children the way Lucy would have wanted and stay together as a family you have many friends like ourselves we are there and i say probably in what has happened to us in living office at least the positive thing is that now we have enough time for friends like nganga <laughs> 
You know, you know, anything happens has a bad side and a good side. We have a lot of time for friends. And friends are important, let me tell you. Friends are very, very important. And there are not many genuine ones. Wakipita tano wewe uko na bahati. Kwa hivyo sisi tuko na nafasi ya kutembelea marafiki. Last Sunday I spent a lot of time with the bishops. I didn't have time reading the Bible, looking at various interpretations. And we shall be able to do that all the time. This nganga here is a real and true example of bottom up. He started as an attendant in a car wash. And he has grown with his wife. Today he imports hired vehicles for the high and mighty. Through sheer hard work and being very honest and having integrity. I want to tell our people, much as difficult things are economically, just work hard. Work hard and be honest. Some of us have gotten in a lot of trouble because of being truthful. But I want to tell you, even, even the Bible says, the truth shall set you free. So as I wind up, so that I introduce the leaders here, I want to tell the people of our region not to get worried. Many people are calling me, oh, what's going to happen? Please, don't worry. Our community is very unique, and many people are shocked. We expected people to go to the streets, lighting bonfires, destroying the vehicles, shouting. No, that is not who we are. These people don't know us well. <laughs> As when we feel offended, we feel bad, we keep quiet. Sindio? Mutaenderea kunyamaza? Keep quiet. Say nothing. And if you feel so strongly, you must express yourself. Do it through song and dance. Sindio? Nyimbo tu? Na kunyama? Kuleo kaudu tuwe. Mokira ki? Na mutikari. Mwa hivu wadu 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 yoko hiyokeru wakainaru hebo. Kwa shoko kakata? Wakira. And that way, the church must remain the conscience of the state, of the nation, continue talking the truth, continue telling the congregation the way things are. Hapa niko na viongozi, tuko na deputy governor Wanyeri, waroe kenanire, mpigia ni makofi. Tuko na baba yao, Ferdinand Waititu, the one and only. Tuko na governor alikuwa Nairobi, Mike Buvi Song. Tuko na aliyakuwa mjumbe wa Dagoreti South, Bwana Dennis Wawero. Niko na nimetumwa na Rabi Rabi na kiongozi wetu Gadoni wa Mushomba. Wako bunge ameniambia wanaenda kungangana na hii maneno ya Sha na Shif. <laughs> Pia niko na rabirambi ya senator wetu Karungo Wadangwa. So my brother, we are together. We wish you well. Pull yourself together. You are strong men. Teach these boys of yours to work with you so that the gap that Lucy has left, they can fill. Stay united as a family. Continue doing the work of God. Continue being a true person. Endelea kukaa na sisi vizuri vile umekaa na sisi. Tunakupenda sana na tunakueshimu sana. Na historia yako kutoka mtu ya kuosha magari mpaka kuwa muuzaji ya magari ile kali inatuvutia sisi sana. You are a role model to many of us because you are your story is a beautiful story. And this is must be the story for the people of Kenya. Mumoko kaidani ya moinoka. Mumoko kaidani 
Ah, tuko pia na aliyekuwa governor wa Nairobi, Kanano, pigieni makofi. Ni muko gaida nilia. Gawi tu amuradhime. Amweke wega. Murole magoku mia. Amwarabe lye mehaka. Amugitere kuma ku edwali. Mesia nyu yurage irathi mo hiana burajega. Asante ni sana thank you. Thank you very much. Kama vile tumesema ni wengi ni wengi lakini kuna MCAs wako hapa. Naona rafiki yangu pale busi mameni. MCAs wale wako hapa. Wote asanteni sana sana sana. So thank you, thank you and God bless you. What we are going to do now, we are going to welcome the one who is doing the eulogy. The one who is doing the eulogy. After the eulogy, we have the tributes. Tributes. Ziperekane hivo, ili tuendele tukimalizia. Thank you. The, the eulogy for Lucy Wamboi Nganga. It is impossible to capture the essence of a lady as beloved as Mrs. Lucy Wamboi Nganga. This eulogy is more of a story of the journey of her life, a young beautiful Kikuyu girl from Gatondo. And all the time, Santini the Glaji, our former Deputy President Rigiji, former governors present, leaders, wananchi nyote ya mujambo. Mimi ntashimu the glaji, wilo wamesema, kuwa tutashimu familia, hatuwa leta siyasa kwa emu kutano. Na wacha niyaze na familia ya Francis, rafiki yangu wa miaka mingi sana, kwa niyaba marafiki zako wote, kwa niyaba family zetu, family za marafiki zetu, tunatakia nyinyi nyote. Wewe nganga unawangoza i family, Brian, Brandon, na wengine wote na familia. Tunawatakia mungu wa wapatia nguvu, huwa kati mgumu wa mbao menapitia, hamuko pekienu, hata sisi, kwa sababia warafiki wetu, Lucy amekuwa rafiki yetu pia wa karibu familia zetu kwa hivyo naomba Mwenyezi Mungu aiweke roho ya dada yetu Lucy mahali pema peponi na ningependa kusifu father yule alitupatia salmon ya leo words of wisdom na nimekuwa nikiongea hii mambo mara mingi hata mbele ya rigiji tukiwa ukambani na kila mahali kifo cha yule dada yetu ambaye analala hapa chini ni ishara kubwa kuwa kila mmoja wetu atakufa ninyi nyote mmekaa hapa mtakufa sisi sote ni maiti watarajiwa tulikuwa na mzee hayati jomo kenyata alikufa mzee moi akafa mwai kibaki Akafa. Retired president wetu atakufa. Current president wetu atakufa. Rigiji utakufa. Mimi utakufa. Waititu utakufa. Kabogo utakufa. Kila mtu wapa atakufa. Iyo ndiyo sambon amba pastor alisema sote sisi ni wapita njia kwa hii dunia. Tutamfata dada yetu na wala metutangulia. Kwa hivyo tunapokaa kwa hii dunia tufikirie kufanyia na mambo mema mambo mazuri. Na father ulisema tusionge mambo mingi kuhusu Francis but nitaongea kwa niaba ya marafiki wale wako hapa. Francis mimi nilijiona na yeye kutoka mwaka wa 1999. Na kwa ufupi tu kidogo nakumbuka sisi tulianza biashara na yeye mwaka wa elfu mbili, elfu mbili na moja. Akiwa na shuru mdogo pale, Muranga Road. Nilikuwa nimeenda hapo Muranga Road opposite kulikuwa na 
Hiyo ndio inaitwa Kashewa Motors. Tuko na rafiki mmoja aitwa hapa anaitwa Njau. Alikuwa manager wa pale. So wakati Mungu alinibariki nilienda pale kununua magari kadhaa. Siku inayofuata nilikuwa natafuta magari kubwa kubwa Mercedes, Land Cruiser za hiyo wakati. So nikaenda kwa rafiki yangu Francis Nganga. Ah nikataka kununua Mercedes na Land Cruiser. Nilikuwa nimevaa short na slippers. Kamwambia nganga nataka hizi magari. Nganga kanaambia wewe uko na kinyasa, enda ulete baba yako. <laughs> <laughs> Ama yule amekutuma, anataka ubroka hapa. Tukavurugana kidogo nikaenda buruburu. Jioni eh njao akakuja, kauliza nganga, yule jamaa naona mmevurugana alikuwa anataka nini? Na anambia huyo yako na slippers kwa nini mwanaume anataka kununua magari zangu? Nikamwambia enda leta baba yake. Njao akamwambia pana huyo ndio soko wa buruburu. Na anasema soko wa buruburu. So nganga akakuja usiku nyumbani yangu nyumbani kwangu akaniambia pole chukua hizi magari wewe utakuja kulipa kesho. So kesho nikafuata nganga tukakuwa marafiki akaniuzia magari urafiki wetu kaanzia hapo after miaka mingi nakumbuka wakati mmoja uh, former late president Daniel Arap Moi akapata accident pale uh, junction ya Machakos akaroll na Range Rover so ile Range Rover baada ilipotengenezwa eh, nganga akapewa yuze akanitia niko na gari ya Moi hapa unaitaka kwambie yes nilikuwa na chapa mbaya sana nikaenda <laughs> Ndanga kaduzia Range Rover ya Moi nikanunua uh, akalepeleka kwa huyu rais wetu wa sasa ndio logbook kulikuwa na jina lake kwa sababu yeye alikuwa anafanya biashara zote za rais Moi tukamlipa nikachukua gari ambaye niko nayo paka leo through nganga kwa hivyo rafiki wetu umekuwa miaka mingi huyu marehemu Lucy na bibi yangu na watoto wangu walikuwa marafiki wa karibu na hawa kina Brian kila holiday uh, mama alikuwa na biashara yake pale North Coast mkao inaitwa Salama Beach walikuwa kila holiday wanakulia pale nganga naye alikuwa South Coast amenunua pale Shelly Beach so we were very close very tight na hii familia kwa hivyo hata sisi tumewachwa na Lucy na ile area Lucy mahali wamenunua nyumba na nganga Shelly Beach Likoni constituency amekaa na majirani wake vizuri sana. Watu mshirikia utadhani yeye ni politician. Na nakumbuka wakati nilifurushwa hapa Nairobi na former president na siasa mbaya maisha mbaya niliambia wewe ndio Mombasa. Nairobi atukutaki. So nikajaribu siasa yangu Mombasa nikaona inaingiana. Huyu Lucy huyu mnamwona amelala hapa. Mwenyezi Mungu wake roho yake malipema peponi. Alinimobalenzia wananchi walikoni majirani zake crowd kubwa sana akawa anajaribu kuniombea kura lakini sababu ya siasa mbaya maisha mbaya kurekeshana chini nilipokuwa cleared na three bench Mombasa nisimame kama governor then kesho yake mbio mbio supreme court akasema hapana tutaka kusikiza kesi yako kesi ya mawakili zaidi ya 14 kushinda ile rigiji wakasoma itasikizwa na siku moja judgment iandikwe na siku moja baada ya tunaitwa kwa chini hata submission zetu hatuja file rigijia alikuwa amefile zake mimi sikuwa nimefile kaambia lazima tusikize kesho yake nikaambia soko nyumbani haufai kufai mheshimiwa former deputy president nimeona kiti ilikuwa imewekwa hapo vunekana uko peke yako hauko peke yako tuko pamoja umekuja kuendeleza na dada yetu kwenye kuogopa wacha waogope sisi hatutaka kukataa ulikuwa deputy president of the republic of kenya vile ulikuwa former governor vile tutakuwa ulikuwa former governor tutaendelea kukupenda sababu ulifanyia nchi kazi lakini kwa sababu ya sasa mbaya ulitolewa vile sisi tulitolewa we feel you former deputy president liwe lialo mwenye anakuja kutaka kunielekea makosa awekele sisi mheshimiwa deputy president we are fan of cases tumekaa jela sana tukaitimu <laughs> na wacha ni kufundisha sheria kidogo kwa sababu naambiwa hatukishakuwa impeached 
hautavai hiyo ni uongo waititi watao utakuwa kwa ballot katiba ya Kenya article 103 sub article 3 utaiya utaruhusu fadha kwa ufupi nipatie mheshimiwa rigiji moral 103 nasema any public officer ama state officer ushakuwa convicted of any offense or any decision kama ile yako ya national assembly na senate hiyo ni sub article 2 kwa uwezi ishikilia ofisi but ukienda chini 103 sub article 3 inasema you shall be on the ballot because you have to exhaust all evidence of appeals or review kesi yako iko high court of kenya bado inaendelea kusikizwa wakikutupa nje bado utaenda appeal court of appeal hiyo ni miaka ingine tatu wakikutupa nje bado utaenda supreme court hiyo ni miaka ingine tano 2027 nitakupata hapo kwa hivyo utakuwa kwa pale utusipe kama na mtu yote ule lakini usikimbie sana enda tu pole 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 ndio twende Mungu kama atafanya haki ya mwisho sisi tunakuambia Francis Ngoma Brian Brandon familia sisi kama marafiki zenu we shall make sure that Lucy atapata justice the good news tumepata tukikaa hapa for the court tulipofunga ile hospitali kwa sababu tulisema lazima ifungwe kwa sababu madaktari waliofanyia dada yetu upasuaji hawana experience ya kufanyia mtoto wetu dada yetu surgery na complications zote za sister yetu Lucy zilitokea after surgery wacha ile ripoti yao bali anasema ati ilikuwa ni pneumonia Nashukuru mbao na marafiki wengine wote. Tumefanya investigation yetu chini ya maji. Tukachuma patients bonoko pale. Tukaangalia ni process ya gani mtu anafanyiwa akienda kwa surgery. Kawaida kila hospitali lazima uangalie kama uko na pressure, kama uko na any condition pneumonia. Ukiona hiyo condition upeleke kwa surgery. So complications za dada yetu zilitoka na na hii hospitali bonoko body by design bado anajiita only care na post mortem report ya dr johansen ilisema the cause of death ni perforation of the intestines ndio ilileta shida kwa dada yetu walitoboa mashimo makubwa ndani ya intestines zake walimdischarge after four days wakamwambia ende nyumbani kufika nyumbani kila kitu ilipasuka uchafu kajaa kwa chumbo damu kila mahali ndio kinangana na brand walipona hiyo wakakimbisha dada yetu na robe hospital tumeona si asambaa ama wakili anaanza kucheza ati na robe hospital ndio ilifanya dada yetu akufe no tuko na post mortem na inaongea ukweli na nashukuru wananchi wa Nairobi tulishikana tukahakikisha hiyo hospitali imefungwa na serikali wakaifunga wametupeleka kotini na ngala na e, wizara husika na wale walifungwa hospitali na leo asubuhi tulipokaa hapa mahakama imekataa kuwapatia order kwa hivyo hospitali itaendelea kufungwa na isitoshe tulikuwa kwa DCI jana because in criminal offense criminal negligence hamwezi cause kifo cha mama ya mzu kina Brian hawana mama wala hana bibi sisi marafiki dada yetu ameenda hatuwezi nyamaza jana ilikuwa tu wabebe wenye hospitali madaktari waende kamiti lakini ngana huyu roho yake ni kubwa sana akasema tafadhali soko atutaki drama tuzike dada yetu kwanza tuendelee na hiyo mambo mengine lakini sisi on behalf of the family on behalf of our friend ngana hao washezi wataenda jela hakuna story nyingine bila tulishikana na wanchi wa Nairobi tukafunga hospitali ndio tutashika washezi tuwapeleka korokoroni 
Santeni sana Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki Mheshimiwa Digiji kuwa strong pana tishwa tishwa na mtu thank you very much uh, thank you very much governor